I had no doubt in my mind that the sixth seeded 49ers would go on the road into Dallas and beat the Cowboys. Remember this? I've got Bye -bye. the 49ers on a team in a destiny role here, pulling off the upset. 49ers go into Woo! Dallas, the, oh, man. the rivalry renewed. Jimmy lives to fight another week. Seven days later, after accurately picking that one, I was one of the very few pundits on air, online, anywhere, who said this 49ers team would go into Lambeau and beat the Packers. Let me refresh you from last week. <laughs> I'm taking the Niners, I'm taking the miracle run, and I think Monday morning, we may be talking about Aaron Rodgers' future a little too soon. Walk you were the only one, Trey, you were the only off, one. Walk off, <laughs> That last video, Let's get into the numbers. 50,000 retweets <laughs> on every 49ers message board. Notes from the 49ers coaches and executives thanking me for my belief in their squad. We had Fred Warner on the show yesterday and in the commercial break he told me that he and his teammate Aziz al Shair were on the bus to the game in Green Bay watching my video on their phone. <laughs> It's an amazing thing when you just feel something so special with a team. <laughs> it starts with your gut, and then it puts shivers down your spine. They take the field, and you just know, you just know this team's special. See, I've been covering the NFL for many years, and I had a special feeling around the 07 New York Giants. First, they went into Tampa Bay, and they won. Then they went into Dallas, and they won. Then they went into Lambeau and they won. And when the mighty undefeated Patriots were up next, what was I supposed to do other than pick them? You see, that giant squad isn't the only one I had a feeling for. Ravens fans, let me see if you're still watching the show. I know it's been a couple weeks since we've been talking up to you. True. That 2012 team, I was one of the only guys online when I was writing my article for FoxSports.com to pick them in Denver and against all odds. That's Jacoby Jones, that's Raheem Moore, and that's Joe Flacco going into Denver and beating Peyton Manning in a playoff game. And the very next week, I said, let's roll with this. Pick them to go into Foxborough. And guess what? Covering that game, it was amazing. And afterwards, I was in the locker room as Ed Reed was sitting next to me, <laughs> singing Eddie Money's Two Tickets to Paradise while smoking a cigar in Gillette Stadium because he was going to the Super Bowl. And you know what those Ravens guys said to me? You're the one who was picking us. You were believing us. This 49ers team, this 49ers team, it feels very similar. It's one of those squads, road dogs, warriors, tough as nails, and an amazing coaching staff. And yet, <gasps> can't pick you guys this weekend. I can't. I think there's a better story. And I think there's another story that I would be betraying. A story of a man who has waited 13 years for a chance. A guy with a golden arm who's been stuck in the NFL hinterlands for more than a decade while his contemporaries were winning MVPs, playing in playoff games, and appearing on nationally TV televised games other than ones that were just played on Thanksgiving. I think this one is about that guy, Matthew Stafford. And I think in what was the biggest throw of his NFL career and the biggest moment of his NFL career, it happened. It crystallized. He actually had his NFL moment when he hit a streaking Cooper Cup to put his team into the NFC Championship game. Stafford's not only writing a dream season this year, it's not an amazing story alone. It's one that really started at a Cabo Hotel 12 months ago when his coach first got to really know him. He's rewriting a narrative that he was perhaps not up to snuff or not worthy of being discussed with Rodgers, with Breeze, with Roethlisberger, with the Mannings, Eli, Peyton, name whichever one, Cooper if you want, and the Bradys. And as much as I've been riding with the 49ers over the last two months, I'd be a complete fraud if I told you I've been with them from the start. I wasn't. It was another California team. Here's my pick for the Super Bowl from September 9th, 2021, the Receipt. day before the start of the NFL season. McVay, Stafford, Donald, Ramsey, this is their year. Folks, you heard it here first. On September 9th, I will pin the tweet, Rams over Chiefs, Super Bowl 56. I've got the Rams with zero interceptions being thrown by Stafford winning on Sunday. Two of my favorite teams in a long time, but I can only pick one. Rams 28, 
49ers 24. Stafford, go enjoy that Super Bowl ride. Woo, woo, woo! Shrags with the receipt. Okay. That couldn't have been easy for you, buddy. It's I tough. know it. That was